So this video is about teaching measures, length, uh, weight, capacity, in the early years. And I always think it's really good to understand kind of the theory of how we teach the pedagogy of the teaching of measurement, uh, because there's basically one kind of idea that goes through all those different types of measurement. And that idea is that we start with the notion of direct comparison. So with very young children, what we want to do is directly compare two things. So I might compare two lengths by putting them alongside each other. And of course, that's where the Piagetian notion of making sure they're lined up against the baseline comes in. Because we know that if you put a pencil like that and then something starting a little further back, children will think that, that, that you, can, you can compare when you haven't got them lined up. So getting them lined up on a baseline and then seeing which one is longer is really important. But here we are directly comparing two things. We're lining up a pencil and a crayon. We're putting a teddy and a pencil. We're, we're directly comparing the length. We can directly compare the weight of two things using balances. And you know, the shoe and the lunchbox, the lunchbox is heavier because the balance goes down. Directly comparing two capacities is harder, but we do it by pouring from one to another. But I always point out that it's really important to pour back as well. So if I pour the teapot into the jug and loads of water spills, children tend to think, oh, well, loads of water always spills. So they don't necessarily conclude that the teapot is larger. When you pour the jug back into the teapot, you can see it hasn't filled. The jug holds less water than the teapot does. So you can't exactly directly compare two, compa two capacities, but you can by pouring one into the other and back again. We move on with young children from direct comparison to measurement by saying, well, how many cubes fit along the teddy? How many cubes fit along the pencil? Now I have an indirect comparison. The teddy is 10 cubes long and the pencil is only six cubes long. So I know the teddy is longer. So once we introduce the notion of a measure, something you can count to see how many fit along it, we're getting a fundamental understanding of how measurement works, which is why I always start with uniform, non-standard units. In other words, things that are the same but aren't the standard units like decimeters and centimeters. The reason for starting with that is it's handleable. You can handle it. Young children can put the cubes along the teddy or they can line up the crayons along the table so they can actually see how many of them fit into the length of the table or the length of the teddy. Similarly, with weight, they can put the marbles against the lunchbox and they can see the lunchbox weighs 12 marbles and the, the reading book weighs six marbles. And then we move slowly into the standard units and start using centimetres. Personally, I like to start with a decimeter with young children because a decimeter is a handleable unit. It's one of those little rods and you can handle it and you can say how many decimeters tall you are. And then it's very simple to point out that decimeters are 10 centimeters. It's, it's quite a nice route into the standard SI units. This is the, the basis for our teaching going through all the infants right up to seven years, with teaching measures to seven year olds. And if you want to see some activities which exemplify this, this pedagogy, then click on the link below.